Hello everyone, I'm Leandra and welcome to my YouTube channel. This little video is a follow-up to a previous video I did where I discussed five vintage style brands that you will love. Since shoes can make or break your outfit, I thought today we would discuss three vintage style shoe brands that are amazing that you must try and you will love. I would like to mention that the first brand we're going to discuss, which is Aniara Vintage, is a brand that I have collaborated with. Now, these shoes are not part of a collaboration with that brand, however, they have been in the past and I love them so much I just wanted to share them with you today, but I did want to fully disclose that we have collaborated together. So let's dive right in and talk about our first brand, which is Aniara Vintage. Aniara Vintage is a newer brand, sort of an offshoot of a brand called Charlie Stone Shoes. Now, this style that they offer and that I'm going to show you today is really, really close to some vintage shoes that I've seen in the past and even some vintage shoes that I've worn before. And that's something that I loved about this was that they really tried to capture that vintage look in these shoes. The box came, this beautiful pink box, and I loved it. But then when I opened it, I loved it even more because there was this little thank you note on the top. And then it came with this little bag, which says Aniara Vintage on it. And this pink ribbon at the top. And you untie, I mean, it's just like you're kind of opening a gift. You untie it, and then the shoes have been wrapped in their own little shoe bags to protect them. So this is so much thought. It's just so wonderful that these shoes are so cared for like this. So I chose these red heels from Aniara Vintage. It's a low heel. It's nice and thick. So there's no wobbling. There's no instability. Another wonderful thing about these shoes, I don't know if you can see it properly, but there's this wonderful pad in the shoes right here around the ball of your foot. And as I walked around in these shoes, they were so comfortable. I mean, I absolutely just immediately adored them. And I was an instant fan of this brand, even though I'd never tried it before. They're just amazing. The fit was wonderful. The feel was wonderful. As I mentioned, no wobbling, totally comfortable, like no blisters at the end of wearing them. Wonderful, wonderful shoes. At the time that I'm making this video, Aniara Vintage offers two styles of shoes. The Gizo shoe, which is what I ordered, and the Makira shoe. Now each of those shoes comes in, I believe, four different colors, but for now, just the two styles, and they are these wonderful vintage look shoes. Now these shoes currently retail for $79, and those are US dollars. I do want to recommend that no matter what brand of shoe you're buying, you take the time to trace your foot on a piece of paper and then measure it and then compare that measurement to the size charts. I remember recently purchasing some shoes from a single company, not one of the ones I'm mentioning here today. I purchased four pairs of shoes and because it was a new company I never bought from before, I looked at the size recommendations for each of those pairs of shoes and for each pair of shoes, I ended up ordering a different size for several of them, even though it was all from the same company. So you really have to pay attention and know your size and then compare it with the size charts. That is people's biggest complaint is that, oh, these shoes didn't fit right. And you're looking, I mean, I'm reading reviews and this person says it's the perfect fit, order true to size. And this person says too big. And this person says too small. And I really think the issue is that you've got to be responsible for measuring your foot and then comparing with the shop's size charts. So keep that in mind, no matter where you're buying from, you've got to know your measurements and buy appropriately. Our second brand for today is Betty Page Shoes. Now these shoes are made by another company called Ellie, and this is sort of a division of the shoes that they make. I have noticed that with the Betty Page Shoes, they don't seem to have their own website. You have to go through a marketplace like Mod Cloth, Unique Vintage, or Amazon. Now, these shoes can run in the neighborhood of $40 to $70, typically, just kind of depending on where you buy them from. You can occasionally find them on sale. I believe I found this first pair of shoes for about $15 new from Amazon, so you kind of have to keep an eye out. You can find great deals. 
But I will say that I do believe they're worth every penny, even if you have to pay full retail. So let's open the first pair. So from Betty Page, I got these cute little strappy shoes. And one thing that I love about these is that the heel flares out at the bottom, so it gives you great stability. This shoe, in addition to this beautiful little tropical print inside, has a nice thick padding at the ball of the foot as well. So with these shoes, I no discomfort. I've never felt discomfort wearing them. I've never tripped or stumbled because the heel wobbled on me. Um, I've never had blisters. They've always been incredibly comfortable. I wouldn't say that these shoes are particularly stand out as vintage. They really are just a cute shoe. I mean, I, I feel like when I look at them, they could be from any time period. Um, which, and there's nothing wrong with that because it makes them versatile. It means you don't have to wear them as a vintage look. You can wear them with anything, which is really what you want in your wardrobe. The second pair of Betty Page shoes, I got these little lavender numbers to wear with my Teu Tomatoshi dresses because, I mean, come on, dresses like that deserve great shoes. And I, I do feel like these shoes are more in the keeping of a vintage style with their ankle strap. I love, and Betty Page does this with all of their shoes that I've ever bought, this little lace decoration, this little frill around the inside, which is so cute. And they don't skimp on the, the pattern on the inside. It's always something pretty and tasteful. So these shoes have this cute little bow and then the peep toe. And again, they have this wide heel. So it's not a terribly high heel. It's not a terribly narrow heel. You're going to have great stability. They always have this cushion at the front, so they're totally comfortable. And these, unlike the others, really do, I think, have more of that classic vintage look to them. So the last brand that we're going to discuss today is Pinup Couture Shoes. So immediately when you hear Pinup, you should know they tend toward the vintage in their stylings. And I brought two pairs from this brand. Super cute box. I love the box. I love it when companies take the time to put details into everything. And this first pair, first of all, I want to note that they came with a shoe bag so that you can keep them protected, which is wonderful. And this first pair is probably some of my favorite shoes because of all the colors. So there's this tricolor pink, green, blue, and they've got the stitching, so it makes this nice pattern across the front. Now, even though these shoes have a bit of a platform to them, I didn't find any difficulty walking in them. They were wonderful, and there is this cute little heart shape here, but that heart is a very thick, cushy pad, so I was comfortable, I didn't feel like my feet were, you know, the balls of my feet were aching immediately, which with some high heels, that just is instantaneous. It hurts. I cannot walk all day in them, but not so with these shoes. They're super comfortable. I love the cushion there and the cute little ankle strap. I also bought these shoes to wear with my Teu Tomatoshi dresses because, you know, if you're going to spend the money on a fabulous dress, you should spend the money on some fabulous shoes to go with it. You don't want to ruin it with a pair of cheap kicks. You just don't. Like Betty Page, I was not terribly successful in finding the Pinup Couture brand as a standalone site. It is mainly a shoe that you buy in marketplaces that sell vintage things or a marketplace like Amazon or eBay, which kind of sells everything. You can expect to pay in the neighborhood of $35 to $60 for these shoes. They're slightly less than the Betty Page or the Aniara Vintage, but they still have this great uh, vintage style to them and there's some very creative styles in there as well something that i don't expect you would have seen in authentic vintage but are really fun for today's styles so this final pair of pinup couture shoes also came with the bag which is wonderful and these shoes i will say i love them i bought them on a whim i've never worn them <laughs> because I don't have anything that goes with them, but they are this cute little mermaid shoe with a shell, a bow, and a pearl. They have this pretty thick platform here, and then the heel is very high, and that's really 
more the reason why I've never worn them. I had a very difficult time staying stable in these shoes. It was quite difficult to walk in them. Just a little too high for me. If you're great at that sort of thing, then you will have no problem with these shoes, but I am mostly a flats kind of girl. I just don't like to struggle to walk. <laughs> so <laughs> so um, as much as I love these shoes, they were difficult. And I don't know that I've ever actually worn them and styled them with anything. I might have to try that. That might be a goal. So I hope you loved today's video. It was short and sweet about three vintage shoe brands that you will love and must try. I don't know when I'll be doing another video. Um, it's summertime, so who knows? I don't, I don't have a lot of free time in the summer. I have a lot of people in a very tiny house. And if somebody sneezes, from the other side of the house. You can probably hear it on this video. That's how small my house is. So I don't know when I'll do another video. Hopefully I'll, I'll do one in the next month or two, but until then, if you want to follow me on Instagram or if you wanna pop over to my blog and see what I've got going on there, I will leave all that information in the last slide and I will see you soon. Bye guys. <laughs>